What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video, some more Jersey videos today. If you guys haven't seen the previous ones I've done on the channel where we looked at redesigned, rebranded logos and rebranded uniforms, this is from the work of Jesse Alkire. These are NFL City jerseys, as I'm sure you can tell from the title. Huge shout out to him. I went over, asked him on Twitter, said, hey man, would you mind if I did a video going over your designs, your jerseys? He said, of course, go for it. So check him out on Twitter, at Jesse Alkire. All of his links will be in the description as well, so no need to worry about any of that. Now, I wish I could tell you that all of these would be a surprise to me, but I've only seen about two or three of these already. Um, someone recommended it in the comments section, so big shout out to you if you did that. This is why we're doing that video. So it'll be a surprise to me, as it is for you guys hopefully for the first time. But let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to read his description of these and then talk about them, my thoughts for a minute. Hit that subscribe button if you're new for more videos like this. We're going to be going over modern throwbacks from another designer friend of mine. And we are going to be going over an NBA NFL mashup. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. Every new subscription helps, especially with a video like this. Probably 50, 60% of you guys watching are not subscribed. So give me a chance. Hopefully you guys will like what you see. But let's talk about the Arizona Cardinals City Edition. If you guys are familiar with the NBA City. Uh, this, you know, basically goes over the inspiration for the new design featuring elements of the city, things like that. So I am super excited to go over this. We're going to start with the Arizona Cardinals. The Valley of the Sun inspires this city edition jersey, pulling color inspiration from the Arizona state flag, as well as the beautiful sunsets above the Sonoran Desert. This one I think would be fairly controversial. I'm a huge fan of it. I think the rainbow looks a little bit um, polarizing perhaps, but I absolutely love how it looks like a sunset almost has a very desert feel to it. I think this one looks fantastic. For the Atlanta Falcons, it says originally built as a marketing promotion for the Two Chains album, Pretty Girls Like Trap Music, Atlanta's pink trap house has since become an icon, inspiring the Falcon City Edition jersey. I think this one this one looks fantastic. I'm actually a big fan of the color pink in general. I just think it's a, a very appealing to the eyes. It's like most of the time when you talk about a pink like this, it's a soft color. Um, it's super easy to look at. I think this works really, really well. I love the font for the text and the number there. This jersey looks awesome. Now, in my previous video, I said fantastic about a million times. I'm gonna try not to do that today. So I'm gonna pull out the 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 thesaurus. Jesus, the the I can't I cannot say the the thor thesaurus. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm gonna have a stroke. I need to be hospitalized. That's how crazy these jerseys are, but I'm gonna pull out the thesaurus and get some more adjectives for fantastic. But oh my goodness, what a what a what a start to this video. Baltimore Ravens, a familiar pattern to all in Maryland. The Baltimore City's flag unique pattern, which can also partly be seen on the state flag, serves as primary inspiration for the Raven City Edition jersey. Of course, we see the checkering familiar with the corner of the logo here on the Maryland state flag. Uh, I very much like this. I think this looks awesome. The purple is accented really, really well with the dark and then the lighter purple. Uh, I think the font is what they currently have rocking. It looks very similar to what they have already, but definitely a big fan of this. I like it a lot. The Buffalo Bills. Now, on one of the previous videos where we talked about redesigning the jerseys, this one looks a little bit similar. While the rest of us around the country look back fondly on childhood snow days, Buffalo still remembers their snow week. Like the Blizzard of 77, this Whiteout City Edition jersey blends right in with the harshest of New York winners. It's very simple, very plain. I like the fade of the line work inside the 17. This one's very simple. Not my favorite, but, you know, regardless, it looks extremely clean. Very simple design, very nice. Ooh. This is where we start to get to some of the uniforms I've not seen yet. Carolina Panthers, dubbed America's home for racing, the Charlotte Motor Speedway's nearly 60-year history of NASCAR competition provides the design inspiration for the Panthers City Edition jersey. Another one that's extremely simple. I love the kind of racing feel of the one, and I love this pattern on the shoulders. It's a little bit unique. You would you know, normally never see this with an NFL jersey. It has more of a college feel to it with the numbers on the sleeves opposed to the top of the shoulder there. But I love the way it looks. I think the... Uh, reddish pink and blue go together extremely well this one is clean simple the colors pop on top really big fan chicago bears 
An iconic and recognized design throughout all of Chicago land, the Chicago flag symbolizes the best moments of the second city and provides some inspiration for the Bear City Edition jersey. We see elements of the Chicago flag here on the shoulder. Now the colors are more Bears themed than Chicago themed, but that's where the light blue comes from. I believe on the Chicago flag, they're actually red stars. This one, of course, uses the Bears orange. I like this one a ton. Everything fits in really, really well. I like how the light blue pops with the orange. Huge fan of this one as well. And now I know I'm not saying fantastic. I'm saying huge fan for everyone. It is what it is. I'm 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 not very eloquent, apparently, and I cannot speak, and I cannot find more words to say. So uh, I, I got a lot of work to do. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Cincinnati Bengals here. During an 1862 Civil War offensive, 60,000 townspeople and farmers banded together as volunteers called the Squirrel Hunters to outnumber advancing Confederate troops in the defense of Cincinnati, inspiring the Bengals City Edition jersey. Now, I understand the theme. I think it's a cool idea. In all seriousness, I hate this one a lot. Uh, I just don't like it. I don't like the strap going on. I mean, it has a feel of an old school war kind of jersey, but... I, I don't really like anything about it. I don't like the color brown in general. I don't really like the pattern inside the numbers. Has kind of a plaid feel to it. I just... This one's not for me, personally. Cleveland Browns. Ever since WJW DJ Allen Freed coined the term rock and roll in 1951, Cleveland has rocked. Now home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, this six-string guitar stripe on this City Edition jersey pays homage to Cleveland's place in music history. This one looks awesome. I like the guitar strings going up the middle. Very simple. And this is a very solid-looking Cleveland Browns alternate City Edition jersey. Looks clean, and I think most of these are going to as well. But uh, I like the way this looks. I would say this is uh, this is this is one of the more solid ones we've seen. Wow, there's a lot going on here. The sky at night is neon and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. Of course, you guys know the uh, well, you might not, but the, the the kind of a Texas fight song uh, going on there, deep in the heart of Texas. You know, whatever. The downtown Dallas light show serves as the design inspiration for this neo-futuristic Cowboy City Edition jersey. Now, I have seen this. Not this particular uniform, but I've seen the design of the Dallas Light Show. But just to me, this has more of a feel of a Miami Vice type uniform. So even though I think it looks pretty cool, there's a lot going on. It is very neon. I just feel like this doesn't really represent what Dallas could be. I know it's taking a very futuristic approach, but it just doesn't theme, you know, seem very Cowboys themed to me. So... I think it looks cool, just maybe not for the Cowboys. Ooh, Denver Broncos. To the city of Denver, the entire state is their outdoor playground. This jersey celebrates Denver's favorite mountain activity with a geometric pattern in the numbers and on the sleeves inspired by the downhill runs of a ski resort. Yeah, I mean, looks cool. Reminds me of some moguls going on there. Um, but yeah, I like the, the pattern inside the numbers and on the sleeves. Simple. The uh, logo here on the chest, I think, looks very cool. Um, I guess the DB is for Denver Broncos. I guess that's... Um, it looks like a, uh, a ski hill kind of sign. If you guys know, like, Black Diamond or the Green Square. Is it Green Circle? No, Green Circle, uh, Blue Square. I haven't been skiing in forever. Whatever. But this one looks really nice. I like the whiteout. Looks fantastic. Love what they're doing here. I said fantastic again. I gotta cut that out. Detroit Lions. This definitely has a racing stripe. The Motor City's horsepower heyday lives on in this Lions City Edition jersey, complete with a center racing stripe and number font that pays tribute to the coolest Detroit built muscle cars of the 1960s. You can see this, uh, I believe, Mustang GT here in the background. That's exactly what's going on here. Looks awesome. Another one that's very simple, yet very, very nice. I like the numbers on the shoulders. I like the, you know, the double stripe on the front. Great work. Ooh, okay. Green Bay Packers, honoring Green Bay's meat packing roots. The Packers City Edition jersey draws from the heritage of the packing company that supported the team in its first NFL season. I see where the motivation and inspiration has come from, and I don't know what more you could do with Green Bay. Just not for me. Looks a little bit, uh, just a little bit boring, if I'm gonna be honest. I see the Acme Packers in the background, but just uh, not one of my favorite ones. 
I, I, you know, I think there weren't probably a ton of options with Green Bay. And again, I appreciate the inspiration, but uh, it's not, not one of my favorite ones. Ooh, I like this a lot. Houston Texans. You, of course, many of you know I've moved to Houston now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the way NASA is implemented already. You got the NASA text for the Texans. I love the U.S. patch on the shoulder. Home to NASA mission control for some of the most legendary space flights in human history. Houston was every astronaut's sole link back to planet Earth. The iconic NASA spacesuit serves as design inspiration for the Texans City Edition jersey. A little spelling error there in iconic. It's more iconic. But uh, I love it. Looks awesome. I love what it's going on with the NASA theme. I like the number. I like the spacesuit vibe to it. Now, it's not orange like we saw previously in one of the rebranding videos for the third jersey in there. Nevertheless, I think this one is cleaner, and I think this one looks better, and I love it. Indianapolis Colts. We've got a Brickyard theme going here. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway provides the backdrop for the Colts City Edition jersey. With a shoulder striping pattern inspired by racing flags that are employed by track marshals during races. Looks clean, like the Brickyard theme. Shoulders, I see what's going on with the racing flags and the striping pattern. Just not for me. I feel like it maybe would have looked better without that. Maybe a little too much going on on the shoulders. Other than that, very nice. Oh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Paying tribute to the Navy's world-famous Blue Angels flight team who got their start at Naval Air Station Jacksonville. The Jaguar City Edition jersey sports design inspired by the Blue Angels distinctive flight suits. It's unique. Certainly is. Like the theme again that it's going for. Uh, I would say I like it overall. I think the striping pattern looks a little bit weird. Just coming in on the shoulder and then moving down. Overall though, I would say I do like it. Kansas City Chiefs. This is dark. Like the dense layer of barbecue smoke that's filled the parking lot of Arrowhead Stadium every Sunday for nearly 50 years, the design for this Smoky City Edition jersey comes from the tireless tailgating cooks of Chiefs Kingdom. I wonder what else could have been done here. I mean, Kansas City is pretty synonymous with barbecue in general, so I definitely like that aspect of it. It's a little bit dark, but this is a cool looking jersey. It just, to me, looks like one that you'd see from like some knockoff website as opposed to an actual NFL uniform. But I really can't hate on it. The gradient, I think, actually works well in the numbers, as usually gradients, I think, look pretty terrible on NFL uniforms. That's why I hated when the Jaguars did that with their helmet. But this one looks great. LA Chargers. Drawing from the timeless style of Los Angeles, the Charger City Edition jersey features a tall, thin number design that calls to the mind the iconic California palm tree which were imported to California, <laughs> fun fact, along with a technical palm pattern on the sleeves. Loving everything about this. It's weird with the Chargers moving from San Diego. This is, of course, uh, a new one. The Chargers still don't feel very LA to me in general. Love the uniform, though. I think this looks fantastic. Love the LA script text right underneath the NFL logo. I like how the numbers look like the palm tree. I like the palm feel on the sleeves. Everything about this Again, I keep going back to it, but it's clean, looks crisp, and I like it. Ooh. All right. Uh, the Ram City Edition jersey is directly inspired by the uniform worn by the brave men and women of the Los Angeles Fire Department, who protect the city of angels with courage, intensity, and pride. Now, I didn't really know what this was at first, but now that I see, of course, it's paying homage to the fire department, I like it a lot. I think the uniform is interesting, but yeah, it is a fire suit. Um, you see the the branding on the inside of the collar there courage intensity pride that is uh or integrity excuse me courage integrity and pride i feel like that is a fire department motto looks great obviously has that fire department feel to it and of course california is unfortunately ravaged by fires uh, every year so uh, unfortunate but yeah i mean shout out to the brave men and women that you know put their lives on the line oftentimes unpaid to uh protect you know, different uh, areas of California. So, um, awesome. See, this is what we were talking about. <laughs> Here's the Miami Vice nightlife feel. The electric nightlife of South Beach comes to life in the Dolphins Vice City Edition jersey, complete with neon light numbers, pastel colors, and cool Miami vibes. Yeah, this is an awesome looking jersey. Feels like the Miami Heat Vice uniforms. Just footballified. Got the Vice City on the inside of the collar. Cool neon numbers. Kind of feels like the Dallas Cowboys City Edition jersey, but I think this one definitely fits with Miami more. Minnesota Vikings. 
Minneapolis native and music legend Prince is honored with the Viking City Edition jersey, which incorporates elements of some of his most famous outfits into the design. Now, I'm not a huge Prince guy in general. I think he had probably the best Super Bowl performance of all time, doing Purple Rain as the rain poured down. Unbelievable. Rest in peace to Prince. Uh, I don't know about many of his famous outfits. That's just not really my forte. I like the text, but overall, I'm going to say probably not my favorite uniform thus far. This one is awesome. Already, I'm, I'm in. New England Patriots. The Sons of Liberty, a secret group that included the likes of Sam Adams and Paul Revere, made Boston a leader in the rebellion against the British. Design elements from that group, including the nine-stripe flag and tri-corner hat, were incorporated into the Patriot City Edition jersey. Has an extreme revolutionary feel to it. Love the old-school script with New England on the front. Love the old-school revolutionary style numbers. Sons of Liberty on the inside of the collars. I think red, white, and blue are always going to go so great together, and clearly that is done here. Excellent work. New Orleans Saints. Ooh. The City Edition jersey for New Orleans taps into the rich cultural heritage of the historic Treme neighborhood. I mean, I'm not a French guy. You guys, if you've seen some videos on the channel in the past, know my opinion of French. I don't think it's a great sounding language, and I don't know how to say things in it, clearly. I know I'm going to get butchered for my pronunciation of Treme there, but it's probably, I don't even know what it would be. Neighborhood, while also taking design cues from the in uh, uniforms of... Uh, you're making me say it again. Treme, Treme, brass band members. I'm, I'm sorry, man. This one, again, looks very nice. Looks exactly like the uh, brass band uniform that we see in the back there. Faded out. I like the look of it. I don't know much about the cultural significance behind it, but I do say I like the look. You know, I, I say, I say, I say, I like it. However, I just don't know too much about it. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ooh, New York Giants. My favorite team, of course. And I think this one is done very well. New York's finest serve as the inspiration for the Giants City Edition uniform, which was directly modeled after the standard issue navy blue NYPD uniform. Many of you will know I'm actually from the area. Uh, grew up in New Jersey, and, you know, it's just a quick trip to New York. Um, I've known a lot of people in the NYPD growing up, you know, family, friends, things like that. I was actually, like, a huge uh, fan of police officers in general growing up. Um, with, like, I, I wanted to be, I think, in the NYPD for a while when I was, like, five or six years old. Um, times have, of course, changed. But love the NYPD uniform here. Looks awesome. You get the Insignia brand there logo on the chest. Even the light blue stripe looks great. No complaints about this one. I know times are a little bit crazy out there right now, but say what you will about anything going on. Obviously, things are not as they should be, but I think this uniform uh, certainly does look as it should be. Great, great stuff. Here's the Jets. New York's bravest are honored with the Jets City Edition jersey, featuring a look taken from the protective bunker gear worn by the heroic members of the New York Fire Department. I mean, they've been through a ton. Obviously, it was a huge effort uh, during 9-11 in early September of, uh, or I guess, yeah, er early September of the early 2000s and 2001. A lot of fire department uh, members lost their lives. So, yes, the, N uh, the NYPD, heroic and brave, but of course the firefighters are as well. And this one does look like that uh, FDNY kind of New York Fire Department. Oakland Raiders, you got the blackout going on here. The hardcore fans who make up Oakland's notorious black hole selection serve as the inspiration for the Raiders City Edition jersey, a full-on blackout with total absence of light, just like a true black hole. Of course, they've since moved to Las Vegas. I wonder how this would have changed, and I almost wonder if uh, Jesse would be interested in doing an update to this featuring Las Vegas. That'd be very, very cool. However, we gotta work with what we got. Oakland, Black Hole, that huge fan base. I mean, this works really well. It's synonymous. So I would say this uh, is is great for what Oakland and the Black Hole truly were. I guess, you know, rest in peace to them now moving to Las Vegas. I'm sure the fan base will, uh, will continue to rock with them, though, even though they abandoned the city. Is that the right word? I, I think funding was an issue, but, I mean, they, they left Oakland. Wow, and really in West Philadelphia, born and raised... The Eagles City Edition jersey got flipped turned upside down by borrowing some style from the Fresh Prince himself, Will Smith. Now, this is absolutely ridiculous. 
Uh, it's definitely fun, has that graffiti feel to it. If you guys are students of history, you guys might know the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Will Smith. You know, you got Carlton Banks. I, I can name some more characters, you know. Um, but we, we got it. Uncle Phil, who, who could forget Uncle Phil? Rest in peace to him. It's an interesting looking uniform. It feels a little bit cheesy that out of all you could do with, you know, how famous Philadelphia is as one of the starting um, cities. I believe Philadelphia was home to the uh, first capital of the United States and home of the Continental Congress. Could have done something with that or the Liberty Bell. So I will say that the Fresh Prince theme from a 90s TV show feels a little bit corny or late 80s, 90s TV show. It does feel a little bit corny, but overall it does look cool. First episode was 1990, so not, not late 80s. 90s was correct. As we move on to the Pittsburgh Steelers, Pittsburgh Steel Industry Heritage inspires the Steelers City Edition jersey featuring a brush metal design that could have only been forged in the Steel City. I think it would have been cool to incorporate the, what are the hy hypocycloids? Hy something like that, the hypercycloids? Hy I think are hypocycloids uh, that you see in the Steelers logo with the uh, blue, red, and yellow. The uh, ingredients, the elements that go into the creating the steel, but the brush steel, brush metal look looks pretty cool. Of course, you got the 84 for Antonio Brown in there. That's no good. As you can see, this is a, a year or two old now. Is Antonio Brown no longer on the Steelers? I think it was Odell for the Giants, who is no longer on there. Raiders in uh, Oakland. So this one definitely not that new, but uh, yeah, it's, who knows? It, you guys think Antonio Brown's ever going to make a comeback? A little bit of an insane person, so maybe or maybe not. But here's the Seattle Seahawks. Inspired by the grunge music that shaped the city in the early 90s, the Seahawks City Edition jersey pays homage to Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain's signature sonic blue Fender Mustang guitar. Looks cool. I mean, Nirvana has some great songs, of course, Rip, Kurt Cobain, but I don't, I don't know, what else could you have done with Seattle? I think it would have been cool to incorporate the Space Needle. I think that would have been really nice. This one, maybe not my favorite, but I do love the blue. Just, I'm not, is it, it looks like a, a uh, guitar pick almost on the uh on the uh the numbering there Ooh, love this love this love this the 49er city edition jersey celebrates the golden gate bridge borrowing the bridge's famous international orange color while also drawing inspiration from prominent structural features of the world famous landmarks so if you see with the 10 there what's going on is it looks like it's a view of the bridge from the side and then um kind of from more straight on uh with the zero so very cool implementing happened to work well with the 10 for jimmy garoppolo i believe that's what number he wears and then of course on the shoulders there you have the elements of the kind of steel um i don't want to call it piping but the structural support beams that go up the side very nice very nice you got the gold for the 49ers and the golden gate bridge even though it's uh got that orangey red color that you see featured in the uniform overall again definitely great stuff wow tampa bay bucks I actually went to school in Tampa for a year or two at the University of Tampa before transferring out. And this one is interesting. Inspired by the vibrant culture of Tampa's historic Ybor City neighborhood, the Buck City Edition jersey features intricate technical patterns influenced by Spanish architecture and tile murals. Now, I've been to Ybor City on a number of different occasions. Don't specifically recall. I will say the uniform looks awesome. I mean, how could you, how could you say otherwise? You can see the tile aspect going on within the uniform numbers. See the collar looks awesome. Shoulder looks incredible. Overall, a very nice looking uniform. Ooh, Tennessee Titans. Of all the stages in Music City, none can say they've held as many legends as the Grand Ole Opry. The Titan City Edition jersey takes design inspiration from this historic venue to celebrate Nashville's rich country music heritage. I mean, exactly what you got going on. Number looks awesome kind of have that uh aspect in the shoulders as well that was talked about in the description but overall it's like that musical note looking area of the number i think the titans font is incredible has that grand Ole opry kind of text feel great stuff i mean this is this is one of my favorite ones so far now i feel like the shoulders are maybe the worst part about it i, I mean that's part of the what the stage in the background Looks great, though, I would say. And the final one is the Washington Redskins. In our nation's capital, secrets lurk in the shadows. From the Freemasons to the Illuminati, 
Any number of groups could be clandestinely pulling the strings in Washington. Follow the hidden symbols in the Redskins City Edition jersey to find the truth. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky stuff. But yeah, I mean, this has an Illuminati feel if ever there was one. I'm sure there are a lot of hidden elements. I think that's like the, uh, looks like almost a hieroglyphic there. You guys are going to have to tell me all the secrets of this one. That's going to be fun to do down in the comment section below. This one looks awesome. Get a little owl in there. Is that like the insignia for the Freemasons? Something going on? You'll have to tell me. Has a very Illuminati type robe feel, especially with these uh, lines going on from the chest. Again, there's a ton to take in here. Please tell me in the comments section what I'm missing out on. I need to know all the secrets and all the uh, hidden elements. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, huge shout out to Jesse Alkire. Incredible, incredible designer. There's actually one more secret before we end the video. He is currently working on NFL 100 themed modern throwbacks for every single team in the National Football League. So if you guys want to see that video... Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, make sure to follow Jesse over there on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.